Alrighty traders, George here in time for a look at the week ahead. These are the three things I'm looking at uh, this week in particular. For starters, OIH, the oil holders index. Oil just shifted from the April to the May contract and in doing so the valuation of the contract went up a bit. We got as low as the uh, 42s on the April contract but we're trading several dollars higher than that right now on the May. It's not positively affecting the OIH here at all. The last time I did a video on this, the setup I was looking for was for price to start breaking higher here and to move up to test this level of uh, commitment here at the top of this balance beam. And if we could get over that, then we had a shot at starting to move back through this air pocket. It happened a little bit. It got up to the first target here and then rolled over. So this trade setup is actually still uh, relevant the way it's spelled out here. It could be looked at a little bit more aggressively to take the bottom of this area here as a trigger to get in but what's troubling is that we've broken below this zone here and we're staying below it so this is where the trading commitment really starts to get more uh, intense and we're simply not able to stay above that so getting back over that level would be a sign of strength and could set up at least a retest of the swing here but bigger picture the attraction to this being an end of move would be to see price move into this huge air pocket with price staying below this level here, it's really bearish and further confirmation of that would be seeing 3230, which is the, the floor here being breached and below that we'll retest the swing here at 3150 and below that 2734 is the next bell ringer. So those are the downside targets below uh, where we are and I wouldn't really call 3230 as much as a target as it is a a catalyst for for more lows and 3150 basically catches the swing low here so that's the deal with OIH and the um, action in in the oil futures should be looked at as well to see what's happening there but bigger picture we start trading over the 36's here we're over all this lower area commitment and that uh, could propagate a much better move up um, but this is a pretty bearish turn here and we're not getting much of a follow through. So that's what I'm going to keep an eye on this week for OIH. Let's move over to Tesla. Speaking of the opposite of oil, here's Tesla. And in the room, we were talking about this area here, uh, setting up some uh, trade scenarios. It didn't set up the long. It rolled over, set up the short, which moved in favor just a bit into this air pocket here it didn't really get that much going uh, and it started to head back up however it's suppressed below the round number of 200 and it's below this 20784 trigger point I had to set up the long that's the about the most aggressive long point here to just get over this balance beam spike more confirmation over 215 so this week I want to see if this uh, break below moves forward and and deeper into this air pocket here or if the bulls are going to come in and start nibbling to get this thing up over 200 and in doing so over 207 um, 84 is the trigger point that I've got that should see at least a seven dollar move up and over that it opens up the door to retest these highs here so while the markets have had a good rally and and pop over the last week or so Tesla hasn't done a whole lot and as to the bear side it broke a key level and really didn't get that much acceleration down so it's kind of languishing here and that's what I want to see some confirmation either direction uh, that's the deal with Tesla and then lastly silver this is the last view I showed you guys of silver it's been a while but um, basically correlating with the moves that we saw in gold long and then short here it's reverted back over the last long entry point that I showed you guys and it's actually moved up a little bit from there these targets are all still uh, relevant gold had a really good move last week and it's still hanging on to those moves I want to see if silver is going to play ball here what would really get things going is to see silver over this level here which is about uh, 1740 so if we can get over 1740 and that's just past this first target area here uh, this air pocket that could see price moving up pretty well still need to respect the floor of this balance beam area and then the ceiling if we can move up there but that's what I want to see this week is do the bulls have enough energy here to get over this key commitment level or is silver the canary in the coal mine for the precious metals and this will keep gold from rallying gold's right at the door to moving up higher uh, silver still has a little bit of a of a balance beam to get over so 1740 is the key inflection point there and if this thing rolls over 
Um, being short below 16 is the same uh, scenario as we saw the last time. The last time it resonated right at about this target here and then found support and moved back up. So if it trades back below this level, it's breaking below the strongest balance beam, and then that can obviously set up a pretty big slide. That'll do it for now for your look at the week ahead, and we'll see you back in the live room tomorrow.